Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of my Mjolnir playthrough. And I'm out here, I've been taming a bunch of different things so we can do the radiation test I was talking about. And I'm like 99% certain that Pasolosuchus is good to go. There we go. And I found a 150 female, so I just couldn't say no to that. All right. Um, tried putting a torch on the saddle of the Dilo, and it's actually on the ground between his feet. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Uh, let's see. The other thing I want to do is I want to get close to the radiation area and put down a teleporter. Just to make it easy to go back and forth to uh, do the testing and all that. And... Oh. Push off. Oh, it's a Titanobo egg. Actually, no. Aberrant Aranosaur, okay. Uh, let's see. The heck was that? I just heard. I think it was a Torvo. Um, is it you over here? No, that's a 110 female Pulsola. Okay. All right, not seeing a whole lot around here. Okay. And there's it, there's like nothing here. Okay, there's a roll rat, <laughs> level fifteen roll rat, and a dung beetle. It's like the longest stretch of time I've been in here where I haven't seen a thing, and I think it's because the parax seem to be over spawning a little bit. It's almost like they're uh, replacing the spawns of coelacanth or something. Oh, hello, Torvo. Hello, Basilisk. Okay, I do need more Basilisks in, so I'm okay with this. It's a level 30. Oh, hey, look, Basilisk is dead. I think it would be really cool with this X attack, where you spin around and bite whatever's behind you, if you actually pulled a 180 while you're doing it. That would be a lot better. Why didn't I do full damage on that one? That's weird. Give me that. Thank you. And here, we're just going to eat that. Go away. All right, you take, it's like regular kibble, right? Okay. Uh, that. Where is your, there it is. Thank you. Oh, that's right, you're following me right now. Oh uh, yeah, don't do that. And, okay, why did you just like, do that on your own. I think the one that I tamed before... Yeah, it was also a male. 145 male. 150 male. 30%. Okay, that's cool. And... Is there anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. It's funny, the uh, mod treats my light stick as a weapon. So it'll say things like lower your weapon to interact with creature and it's like it's it's a torch. Alright. And of course we got an earthquake going on. Because, you know, why not? Are you ready for my pet? Yeah. Uh, 
let's see. Well, I'm waiting for this thing to want more pets. We got Solosuchus we just tamed, a Torvo, a uh, Carnoraptor. We got a couple of Paraxes, a male and a female. We got a male and female Aberrant Siamasaur. And we got an Aranosaur and then another Australovenator. It was a 150. There we go. Yeah, that's up to 81% tamed already. Kibble is really the way to go with this. Okay, I'll take those. Not that. I'll take that, actually. Rare flowers are kind of a pain sometimes. Okay, that was my face. Now, if I get attacked by Nameless, this guy will come to my rescue and actually uh, gain taming effectiveness from it. So, we're taming progress. Alright, since it would be a waste of the kibble, let's go ahead and switch over to mutton. And whenever he wants to be fed, we can just give him some mutton. I need to find a female. So I'm going to have any use for Torvos at all. Okay, okay. I'm going to at least want to breed up and imprint him. You are just being stingy here. Two instances of care and you didn't give me anything at either time. Come on, dude. Get hungry. Of course, like, one or two more pets and a, another care, and I won't even have to feed him. But there we go. Alright. Let's go... And get off this rock. There we go. Head up this way. And. Can I take a peek around? I think I got turned around when I was fighting that. Or, well, not fighting, but taming that Fasolta Sucus because it aggroed on me and I had to run away. So, get off these rocks. Why are you so insistent that these rocks are the way to go? Uh, yeah, I need to be heading this way. Okay. Yeah, I got turned around. I was looking around like, I've been here before. 140 roll rat. I'm not going to tame something that looks like a scrotum. I'm just not doing it. And they're really not all that useful either. I mean, they're excellent wood gatherers. And they actually have weight reduction on the wood, which makes them a little bit better than a stego. But uh, their saddle's way too expensive. It actually has durability, which is horrible on a saddle, especially if it breaks while you're running around on it and all of a sudden you're ejected. And uh, they're slow and they turn for crap. I mean, they're horrible. Oh, and back at base, I also have, I've got a high level saltosaur and an aberrant uh, oxalia. So I've actually gotten a decent amount of creatures to tame up, or tamed up, to uh, test out. Okay, I just saw you in English. There we go. And... You can die now, thank you. Go away, Manglosaur. Oh yeah, my uh, red panda needs a helmet if we're going to be hanging out here. I did get another red panda tamed up, so. Alright. There we go. So. We're back in the radiation zone. Not exactly. I mean, this would be a decent place to test. But uh, not a great way to get into the radiation area. I mean, it's a great spot if you have a drake. Because it's basically straight down and you're good to go. But uh, I heard you nameless. There you are. Um, yeah. Not, not a great place to uh, set my teleporter up. And 
and see. Oh, go away, nameless. I don't care. There we go. Now we can definitely see. Kind of heavy too. I was gonna say I feel kind of slow. It's at 145 per X. Oh hey, uh, 55. Okay. Sarko. I've already got a Carcanos on Fjordor, and you can't breed them. Well, I shouldn't say that. There is the the propagator. And uh. Did you just attack the dead Carcanos? That's hilarious. Uh, the Propagator will let any two creatures breed. Oh, hey, there's a Carcardonosaur. You are... Fighting Neovinator, huh? Two of them. And, yep, there goes the Carcardonosaur. But, uh, yeah, the Propagator can breed... You know, any creature that's in cryopods. And dead. And dead. And I've been just throwing out there chaotic polymer because it's, it's it's too much, honestly. Actually, here, let's go ahead and throw that over because that'll cut 40 pounds off the weight. So... I won't be able to move without putting it back onto my uh, Dilop of Inatrix, but we'll deal with that later. Go away, Ravager. Oh, there's another Venenosaur, huh? Mm -hmm. I have not tamed a Spinoraptor. Oh! You know what? Where did you go? There you are. You are my new friend. Because this is just for testing purposes. So, oh, inventory's too high, that's right. Um, put that back on you. Yeah, level 5 is perfect for testing. Yeah, I just have to pet him one more time and, and we're good to go. I'm just waiting for a Nameless to pop up somewhere here and try chewing on my butt. Or we can give him care. That works too. Cool thing about the Spine Raptors, you don't need a saddle. Uh, we are not quite in radiation area yet, but we're getting there, right? Oh, yeah, I need to... Transfer that back over now. Alright, I don't see anything down there to really be worried about, so. Yeah, there's just so many things from prehistoric uh, beasts in here. Yeah, the paraxes. I mean, it's something really strange about that because they're really rare on the island, but they're just so common over here in Aberration. Hey, I see you. Uh, you're level 15. You are not worth my effort. And there we go. There's a radiation area. Back up to here, there's no radiation. Alright, yeah, this will be as good a spot as any. Because I'm just going to pop down a teleporter here. Oh. Dang it. Uh, rename. There we go. And let's go ahead and give you that. 
Yeah, I've got everything from here down is stuff I've tamed this last trip, except for my uh, my panda. Now, there's a few other ones that I'm pretty sure that, you know, we don't need to test out. Uh, mainly because they're just not going to do all that good. So... So I'm not too concerned about it. I keep getting stuck in your saddle. Oh, there's a purple drop across the way. Yeah, that'll occasionally spawn in a purple, and it's... Honestly, it's okay. But Got stuff to put away now, and... Let's get you back down. I'm going to leave you there so I remember that you need a helmet we go back into the uh, radiation area. Although a light pet would probably be a better idea when I go to the radiation, just because of reapers. Uh, let's see, I'm just going to pitch that. Anything with a spoiler, I'll grab. And everything else can just get transferred into the workbench. I'm going to head upgrade my uh, refining forge to an industrial forge. Plenty of charcoal, which is great, because bullets, right? Uh, let's put all that away. Drop you up in here, and we'll just make almost 300 recipes of gunpowder. It's like, what, four gunpowder per recipe? Uh, six. All right, so that'll be a decent amount of gunpowder. Oh, wow, you got a lot of levels while we're out. go and okay yeah that's kind of cute now I can bring him him her uh, her into the radiation area yeah I was gone for a while got a lot of eggs to deal with and kind of tempted to go after that drop over there, but it's it takes forever to actually get to that thing. So I guess we can take the the uh, Dassey out. Okay, just making sure it's still there. Because I have to go up this way and then double back. Get him away, Paris, before I eat you. Wow. <laughs> GPS blueprint and metal irrigation pipe blueprint. You know, this is gamut up. Oh, no, actually, it wasn't gamut up. It's gamut down. But this thing does, like, has no light around it whatsoever. And I have yet to harvest a plant species Z seed, actually. Do I need plant species Z? It probably wouldn't hurt to have one or two, but, like, where I'm at, I don't have to worry about nameless, so it's like, eh. And it'll just give me the, the seed bomb grenade things, so... Eh, I'm not going to worry about it for now. Oh, and there's another one over here, too. That's right. This is the one that I saw in the first place. Maybe this one will actually have something in it. I've gotten so many blueprints for stupid things out of these drops, though. I got a grenade out of a purple drop. Wow. The loot is just so good on this map. Also, best Bloodosaurus apparently like to fly. Oh, I haven't checked on my uh, my gas pumps in a while. I've just got three of them for right now. Uh, okay, yeah. That'll definitely be worth... Oh, I 
double tapped E. Uh, that'll definitely be worth checking him. And it honestly doesn't take that long to check. There's that one there. There's this one here. And then there's the one all the way down here. And, yep, 1429. Decent amount of gas balls. And... There we go. I think we can call that good for now. We are up to... 5,000, which is good because I got a blueprint for, what the hell, computer? It just minimized arc on me. Um, but I got a blueprint for 876 armor uh, hazard suit, hazard suit shirt. So I should definitely be able to make that now because it's only needed, what is it? 3906. Now here's a question. Can I make a crafting skill potion? I can. Sweet. Now, before I take that, hey, we got enough. Sweet. What are we going to get out of this? 876.9. Wow, really? Because I didn't take the crafting skill potion. I mean, it just made it. Okay. Give me a sec. Now let's try it. Nine sixteen. Sixteen percent bonus. Is that worth I mean it, it is a bonus right it could have been a lot better but it's it's honestly fine and then drop this in here it'll become the reusable variant so radiation will not wear the durability down uh, being in combat will and I've already done that with some gloves that I found and some boots so now we're now we're up to 2100 armor so I mean we're getting there I would like to find a helmet and pants, though, that are better than primitive. So you can go in there. And... Yeah. Looking at my creatures, and it's just like, okay... I need to rebreed up my Austral Venators because the new male that I tamed up has five more points into health. And ten more points into stamina. So that's those two stats there are definitely worth it. Same weight even, so that'll make it a little bit easier. But uh Probably go out and go tame another Torvosaur as well. I mean they're not great. They're not horrible. Uh, for boss fighting creatures, the choice between Torvos and Allos is Allos hands down. The pack bonus makes a huge difference. The Torvo Venom doesn't work on the uh, on doesn't work on anything over boss drag weight. So might be a little higher than that, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work on a bosses because there's two types of venom. There's high tier and low tier. Like, the Dilapa Benetrix has a low-tier Venom. Same with, like, the Herrerasaur and whatnot. The Torvo, I'm pretty sure, has a high-tier Venom. So that may actually work on bosses. But I kind of doubt it because, like, Chalantes have a stacking bleed. And that used to be really good for boss fights because it was a stacking Denonicus bleed. It was up to ten iterations, I think. Yeah, Shadowless changed it so it doesn't work on bosses anymore. At which point it's just like... I, since that change happened, I have not tamed a Chalantosaurus. 
there's just been no point. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to probably hold off on breeding the Cyanosaurus for right now. Then put them away. Because I've already got enough to breed. Um, I'm going to put my Aronosaur in here as well. Carnoraptor, I'm pretty sure that's radiation proof, so. Spine Raptor, I'm not too sure on. Wow, this guy got no points into health at all. And uh, then we have the Parazinosaurus, you know, the Parax, which um, good stamina and weight. 51 melee on the female, dang. Our highest health is only 35 points, though. But, I mean, that's not bad. I'm mainly breeding them up just to kind of try them out. The other thing I've done is we come over here. Keep doing that doors all automatic. But yeah, we come over here. There is now a platform over here. This is going to be for stacking mutations. And so what I've been doing is just hatching up a bunch of Baluasaur, Stego, and Dilapa Venetrix eggs for now. And just keeping the unmutated females. So I need to go through all these eggs I've got in here, and then once I've got all the eggs, I can put my perfect pairs in here into storage. And then we can start doing like the pair acts and whatnot. And that way I can keep the two groups separate. So I don't have, like over here I'll be trying to get all the good stats, over there I'll be stacking mutations. I don't have to you know worry about getting confused as which egg is which. It's like Australovenator and Dilapovenatrix eggs look identical. Which is to say they use a berry egg. So, yeah. If you're going to be taming up a berry on top of those two, you're probably not going to have a good time picking the eggs up. But I'll be back in just a moment, and uh, like I said, I've got to get a bunch of eggs to go through and whatnot, so... Yeah. Alright, and yeah, it's been a while since the, uh, my last speaking clip. There was a, I think I put a little tiny clip in before this one of just kind of showing what I've been up to, and yeah. So currently I'm breeding up, we got Australovenators over there, we got Stegos here, we got our Parazinosaurs here. Uh, let's see, what else... Oh yeah, I uh, bred up my Bluasaurs as well. Uh, so, and I got a couple of good Carcharodonosaurs, so I got their stats equalized out, which there's nothing really to write home about. 48 melee is pretty good, but 36 weight, or 36 uh, health can really use a hand there. Uh, bred up and equalized out my Feather Lights. Uh, let's see, you are... Oh yeah, I already have 20 health mutations on my, uh, my Parazinosaurs. And right now we're working towards melee, and I'm up to 16 melee mutations on them. Uh, I also bred up Dilapa Venetrix. We are sitting on 20 health and 20 melee mutations for these guys now. So without imprint, it's 6,500 health and 950% damage, which is pretty good. Uh, the Baluasaurs, we got them 20 health, 20 melee, and that's where I cut it off. <laughs> gets them up to 82 points into health and 94 points into melee. Bluesaurs, they get like, I think it was like, what, 20%? Or, uh, yeah, no, I don't even think it was 20%. Um, I think it was like 10% per melee mutation. Well, it's 20% per melee mutation, but 10% per level that goes into it. Yeah, it, they do not level up melee at all. However... The star of the show is the Stegos. The Stegos are what I've done the most on. Uh, currently we're at 47 health, 20 stamina, and 10 melee mutations. I cut it off at 45 health and trying to get 
These females over here, I ended up with two more health mutations before I ended up with a female that had all the good stats. So this box over here, I've got eight stegos in here for right now. Probably only going to take one, maybe two, to the Rockwell fight. Because if I take two, then uh, the med boost will really help out, actually. And I'm thinking I'll take Austral Venators into the Rockwell fight because they're small and it's easy to stack them up on the platform. Especially around a Stego. I want to ride on a Stego in the arena because A, I've never done it. And uh, B, Stegos protect you from everything while they're while you're on their back. You cannot be targeted by anything. And those plasma shots that happen during the fight, yeah, I, that would probably be the best uh, bet I have for surviving that. I did tame up a Rock Drake. I uh, immersed have tamed this thing. And it, I think it was like 155 or something like that. It doesn't show here, does it? Um, actually, it'll probably show here. Uh, yeah, 232 is what it came out as after team. So that was a 155 rock trick, which is honestly not much to write home about. Uh, considering they can come up to 190, but I just wanted rock trick. And wow. Glow sticks. Alright. Uh, this is so I can go up to the surface sometime and just go ahead hit up some loot drops, whatnot. Alright, come on. Climb. There we go. I don't know why you weren't wanting to glide, but sure, whatever. Uh, this is Lara here, my uh, my first lop of Inatrix. Let's go over here where it's a little brighter. And then, uh, where are you at? Dang it, I have a, a, a bread up to Lop of Inatrix. Did I pick you up? I'm starting to think I might have, actually. Um, yeah, I did. Here's Indy. Uh, Indy is... my uh, max mutated. So 20 health, 20 melee. And uh, 13 levels into health gets them up to 25,000 health, which is awesome. And then I just put 65 levels into melee damage as well. Uh, so you're at 15,000, it's up to 25,000 health. 3,400 damage, 5,400 damage. And that was even putting 10 levels of movement speed into Indy. So this is going to be my cave running dino, at least for the first cave. And yeah, there's only three caves on this map, but all three are very different when it comes to the uh, like the structure and layout of the cave. Uh, over here, this is Bagger 293. This is my mining Baluasaur. Uh, he is, you know, 20 health, 20 melee. Probably should have gone in for weight mutations on the Baluasaurs, which I can do in the future anyway. But, uh... I'm going to break that crystal node right there. You're hitting, like, everything but crystal. There we go. So yeah, we got almost a thousand green gems out of that one node. So he's pretty good. Um, got up to 2,000 weight now. Uh, 3,000 melee damage. So, I mean, he he's very effective when it comes to mining, and he's strong enough to hold off anything that comes after him. I think he does, like, 1,500 damage per bite now. Uh, but what we're going to do now is uh, we are going to grab Indy so we have somebody to ride on, but we're also going to grab a bunch of these creatures. There's the Oxalaya, we got a Saltasaur here. Uh, the Parasaur I know is not immune to radiation. Uh, we got a Parasinosaur. Desploto was immune to radiation, which is surprising. Baluasaurs are, Cryptops are not. Rock Drakes definitely are. We have an Aranosaur, Carnoraptor. We know Stegos are immune as well, so. And so we're going to hop on Indy here, and we're going to go down to the radiation area and check out these creatures that I've got. <laughs> because I can, and I'm kind of curious to see what would be viable down there and what wouldn't be. And I imagine there's some smaller creatures that we could grab, like Pullman, we see them down there, Arthros, yeah, but I'm not going to bother with those guys. They just, uh... They're just not going to cut it, is what it is. Okay, so right here is radiation, and right here is not. Oh, I should have brought a light pet. Dang it. Uh, 
Oh. Hey, sweet. Got some more, uh, nameless venom. And got some more there. Hello, Rock Drake. 170. Hmm. Got a seeker there. I'm not seeing any more nameless pop up. So. Um. I want to try to tame that Rock Drake. I can't be riding on, on Indy here. Let me... Oh, I need at least that from you. I'll take that too. Alright, okay, so the Oxalia. One of the cool things is you actually sit off-center in the seat now. Which is, uh, this was after a, a TLC that uh, the Shadowless did. And, yep, Aberrant Oxalias are immune to radiation, which is what I was hoping to see. You are a 120 Kerkarodontosaur and a 90 Rock Drake. Wow, you really do not hit... Oh, uh, that was a Seeker. Or not a Seeker, yeah, a Nameless, yeah. So, Oxalia, 1300 damage per bite. 1447 per claw attack, and it hits twice. Yeah, Oxali is really good, actually. And the Aberrant ones just look awesome. I mean, this is wild tame colors here, so... Now, the Claw Attack does use stamina, and it drains kind of quick, so it is something to keep an eye out for. Alright, let's go here, and because I'm going to get distracted otherwise, uh, here, split one. I split one, where did it go? <laughs> the heck, oh, there it is, okay. And we can shoot off the back of this guy, but the thing is, you have to remember, you're off-center, so, um, there you are. 170, yeah. Okay, here comes the Rock Drake. Show off Battle Prowess. There we go. That was really weird how uh, I had escaped to close my inventory, and uh, yeah, <laughs> it brought up the pause menu, and then. Um, I do not have any mutton bait. I just realized that. Huh, dang. Okay. But while we're here, that guy is not going to mess with us now. So that is a plus. Alright, let's go ahead. Take care of the Seekers. There's another one over there, but he's leaving. Okay. No Nameless. Alright, so next thing I wanted to test out is Saltosaur. And there we go. Saltosaurs are immune to radiation. Alright, cool. Uh, this guy did level speed, yeah, 15 points into speed. This is a wild tame though, this is without imprint, so. And they actually pretty good turn of speed. They're not the greatest at uh do I want Aberrant Prolovia? I could definitely tame this guy real quick. It's a 130. Hmm. I think I'll hold off. Uh, but yeah, these guys, the Saltosaurs are pretty tanky. Uh, let's see. Salt armor, extra armor for your Saltosaur, which is, you know, awesome. They're immune to radiation, which is good as well. They are an herbivore, which could be a downside. Uh, Spiner Raptor, this was a level 5 that we tamed up, and I just dumped a bunch of levels into him. So, and, see what do we got here? Hyperthermic and hypothermic insulation from the Spiner Raptor. And they are immune to radiation as well. Okay, what are, oh. You know, honestly, this guy does pretty good damage for <laughs> the, the stats that I started with that were... Definitely not amazing. Uh, let's see. Parazinosaur. What do we got? 
I believe this, yeah, this is just a um, all good stats and then imprinted. So, Parasinosaurs are immune to radiation. All right. That could be a funny army, a Parasinosaur versus Rockwell. Uh, let's see, next up is the Uranosaur. You're not... Okay, yeah, I know you're fine. You know, I could actually do this the hard way. Hey, come here. There. <laughs> you can actually tame them without bait once you get them to 25%. Okay, Aranosaurs do take radiation. Alright, so that's a no-go. It was worth a try. Are you going to pop out of there? No. Like, everything I've had, I, apparently that Perlobi just doesn't care. But yeah, every creature I've popped out so far, including me being on foot, has not triggered that Perlobia yet. And then the Carnoraptor, which I am fairly certain this guy's going to be immune as well. Carnoraptors are great because they can get around pretty quick. And, yep, immune to radiation. Uh, they have a jump. They have a really good jump, actually. I always forget how good that is. And then right-click is a charge attack. That is a 150 Perlovia. Maybe I will tame the Perlovia, because there's a lot of them right here. That's a 145. Okay, I need to make them lose interest somehow. That is a 150 Carcharodontosaur. Hmm. 28 points into weight. 15 health. Health is the one I really want to get more of. Is that a Dialong? That is. Hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Looks like we can uh, Envenom a Carcharodontosaur. Well, Alpha Carcharodontosaur. Nice. And I am now encumbered because we just got a couple of loot crates. I, I get out of here. Uh, yeah, that thing just kind of surprised me. It's like, oh, hey, it's a, you know, Alpha Kakar. And then it's like, I noticed the Alpha go right after that. So it's like, yeah, there's a lot of the, uh, the Kakar Dontosaurus down here. And yeah, you guys can all, oh my God. Level 90 Rock Drake can go. 140 Spino. And we're getting heavy again. Uh, let's see. Oh, nope. Thought we were relatively safe. And you're 125. I already got pretty good feather lights, so I'm not too concerned. Alright, I probably should just head back to base so I can show off what all I've tamed while I'm out here. Because we've got nameless issues. Hey, I actually managed to kill it. Cool. Alright, um, yeah, I'm pretty heavy now, actually. Yeah, I'm too heavy to move. Uh, what is my weight at? Like six and a half pounds over. Oh yeah, I'm level 160 now. It turns out that, you know, mass killing things like, uh, you know, aberrant spinos, blue so on and so forth is really good for gaining levels. Uh, here, let's put that away. Can I? I can move now. Okay. In that case, then... Oh, can you not grapple? Yeah, you can't grapple when you're over or when you're encumbered. All right. Well, while we're here, though, uh, let's see, we got... There's my Oxalia. So we have the Carnoraptor there. So I did tame up that 170 Rock Drake. Came out at 255. Um, 51 points into health is not bad. And we got a 150 Carcharodontosaur that I saw and... Does not have the good health I'm looking for. Uh, got a what was a one four five 
that is good stamina, I guess. And then there was a 140. That, that's the highest health I've gotten so far is 37 points. I think that's the highest. And then I I just realized all the Perlovia I tamed were female. Uh, let's see. So my high health so far is what was it, 39 points. Melee is... 36, okay. Yeah, really not worth it. And then a dialogue got involved while I was trying to tame up this Perlovian. Yeah. So, things happened. Uh, I just really, yeah, I was going to like, oh, I can start breeding Perlovia. Yeah, no. Unfortunately not. Didn't realize they were all female. That's a shame. There was a 150 back where I was trying to tame the uh, first Carcarodontosaur, but uh, it got killed by the third Carcarodontosaur. Or was it the second? One of the two. i uh, just put our dialogue in there for now. And let me go ahead and crack these open. There we go, now I can move better. Uh, yeah, that's not worth it. Uh, Conca Venator, no. It's just a blueprint I don't need. That can go, that can go. We got two more Basil or Basilisk skins. We're up to four now. And let's go ahead and drop off the uh, anthracite here. Get some charcoal made up. Are you out again? Yeah, you are. Okay. There we go. That'll be another good amount of gunpowder. Uh, I need to go and... Keep getting stuck on the floating bulb dog. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and keep that stuff out. And we'll keep that for now. And then I can put... Spino sails in here so that when we leave this map we can transport these out of here. 22 spino sails though, that's not bad. And 15 more sarco skins. That'll be real a real help on uh, extinction. Spino sails, not so much, but the sarcos, yeah. I mean the sarco skin, that's gonna be a huge help actually. Oh, that's right, you guys are still out here, aren't you? Um yeah, I'm gonna retire you. So we did figure out uh, what viable creatures there are, at least as far as it goes for being able to survive in the radiation. Um, so yeah, there's our Carnoraptor, which I'm just going to put in here for now. Uh, Spinoraptor actually was viable. I mean, we tamed him up at level 6, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, the Parasinosaur, you are not mutated, so you can go in there. The Oronosaur, unfortunately does get affected by radiation. That was a shame. Saltosaur. That one actually I was kind of surprised by. And that may be halfway decent. I'm looking at it now. I came with wild 38 levels. I put 30 more in it. And it's sitting at just shy of 51,000. And that's without an imprint. So these things, I might actually tame up some more high level ones and try to at least get some good stats together and see what I can do with a uh, with a Saltosaur. So I mean, nothing else. These things can be a hell of a tank. Oh, we got our Oxalia. Excellent damage. Excellent maneuverability. Uh, let's see, we got our Rock Drake. 51 points in a melee is not bad, honestly. And then that's Crab Cracker. Okay. Oh, you yeah, you can go in. Yeah, I'll keep you around for now. It only has a basic saddle as well, so or primitive saddle. And I'll take all of that. Thank you. Let's see, we're going to have a uh, Crab Cracker 2.0 here soon. But, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually call this an episode. I'm going to run out and go uh, try to tame some more Saltosaurs because they actually could be really good for... Uh, do I want Aberrant Saltosaurs, though? Because Aberrant Creatures, what is it? It's uh, minus max health but plus melee damage. If I'm going to be getting some tanks that can soak damage, 
I'm going to want more health to start off with. So I might... Here, let's, let's do this, right? If I go here, Dino Catalog, Salta Sword. There is an X Salta. There's a Crystal one, too. I don't plan on going to Crystal Isles, though. I like the patterning on the neck. That's kind of cool. The downside is how dark it all is. There's that. Um, I think that's the Vermilion. It's the other one. Oh, it was red. Okay. Is it medium autumn then? Good lord. There we go. Okay. You can see the pattern a little bit better because unfortunately this dino preview is pretty dark. But yeah, you can see the crystal along just over the hips there. That's kind of cool. Uh, what does our X look like? Kind of draft print. I'm going to be nice and say draft print as opposed to like Holstein cow. And then these are actually spikes instead of like crystals. Okay. And there's our aberrant, which is what we've got tamed. And then there is the regular, which is pretty close to aberrant. All right. See, I really do like this diner preview. <laughs> this is actually very handy here. And, oh yeah, Bagger's got a bunch of stuff on you too. But yeah, uh, the Bagger, Bagger 293 is the giant... Um, bucket wheel excavator in Germany. So, I figured it's pretty accurate for him, so we'll go with that name. But I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, I'm going to get some more taming done. Probably not the Saltosaurs on this map. I will, uh... They were fairly common on Fjordor, and... kind of common on the island. I wonder how common they'd be on Extinction. I might just wait till I get to that map before I tame them too. The X variant looked pretty good. Oh my god, what happened to you? Are you full or something? Oh, you are. Oh god. <laughs> That's 300 eggs. Oh god. I wondered why it was just picking up hatchlings instead of... Oh, I got 221 guys in here. Oh man. See, the thing is, is the females are all hooked up to a dino leash, but the males aren't. So they shouldn't have been breeding while I was in the radiation zone. But apparently they were. So I've got a lot of dinos to go through now. Got a lot of them. All right, uh, we're looking for mate. I had a double mutation, but not what I want. Uh, for the Austral Venators right now, I'm looking for health. And, what was that, like triplets there? Yeah, triplets with a double mutation. That's kind of cool. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.